All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to go through an interesting prospect that I saw on Instagram. That's why you always have to keep your eyes open for any sort of opportunity that might come your way. Basically, I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw pop up on a page this Instagram post, which is a competition to enter to redesign Samoa's logo for the whole nation. Now, me, who's been doing rugby graphic design stuff for the last year and a half, there thereabouts, and being reasonably successful on Instagram and super successful here on YouTube. The reason Samoa are probably doing this is because recently there was a documentary that came out called Oceans Apart, which showed kind of the corruption and so on in rugby and that how we're against the kind of Pacific Islands a bit and we're not helping them as much as we should. Them or their players, in fact, despite them being such a prestigious nation, hosting great players like Tim Nanai Williams, the original sort of Cheslin Colby character on YouTube. He used to step and beat everyone no matter what from wherever on the pitch. Now, this opportunity popped up I, of course, emailed them and be like, here, I want to take part, give us a chance. So they send me back a brief and finally we have a professional brief that I can show you and that kind of gives you an example of what a professional brief looks like when it comes in. This one is much better than any briefs that I would have created. I always create basic briefs for projects that I do. This one is much more detailed. So obviously it goes into a background of Samoan rugby, gives you a bit of a story, gives you a bit of a feel of what it's about. Then it gives you exactly what it's looking for. And then it gives you details on what the logo needs to represent. So the most important things were, it's a very Christian country, very proud of its religion. So that is to be a focus in it. And you can see it in its old logo. Uh, it needs to contain its new branding, Rugby Samoa. Well, it's not new branding, but it needs to contain the branding Rugby Samoa. It needs to contain its national flower. And it also needs to show that it is for the national sport, which is rugby, not a surprise. And then it needs to contain the, the ability to be able to go across all of the rugby teams, its social medias, anything that's to do with the rugby. This needs to be able to be placed on it, easily read. So these are the considerations you need to take into account. And then it tells you what you need to supply, which I will do a video in the future on. So if you are looking forward to that, obviously subscribe, like the video, comment down below what you think. Uh, it's gonna help me push this video out more and I would really like that, thank you. So after giving a quick read of the brief, obviously I need to procrastinate and think about what I'm about to do and just kind of get in touch with the fact that I'll be doing a Ruby Small logo and just trying to figure out what I do. A lot of thinking is involved in doing this because you could waste a lot of time going down the wrong route. So how I think is pretty similar to everyone else. I eat, I drink coffee, get in touch with nature, the usual. And then we get into actually making the logo. Obviously, I've explained it before in L.A. Giltini's video is that I start doing it with sketching. And I've said it time and time before, time again and i'll say it to anyone is that you don't need to be good at sketching and being a good sketcher is subjective so my sketching needs i am not posting finished art of my sketches and using that as my work sketching for me is just to get ideas out on the page and they're very fast so like if i can get away with stuff like this and still be considered good at photoshop and composting you do not need to be a good sketcher to sketch out your ideas. As long as you understand what's going on, that's all that matters because no one else is going to be reading and trying to figure out your ideas. It needs to be able to get the idea across to you. So you don't. You just need to be able to get the idea from your head onto a page. And it's just, they look like garbage. I don't know how I came out with the end result I did while looking at this, but it's some sort of a mix mash of that and that. It's mental how these things come about. So eventually after sketching, of course, I have to convince myself to use Illustrator. It is my least favorite program to use, but you have to use it to be able to get into the vectors. It is the vector program. What I did, it's a short clip of it. It's just kind of in around when I was coming to the end of the ideation stage, because you do not need to see the beginnings of my illustrator, which I'll show you here. You don't need to see me do the work through that, but you need to see how I got to the point where I got to and the amount of different iterations you can do. It is not just a keep working on the single piece. You do a bit, copy it across, change it, do it again. So we'll go through that there now. Okay, so we've just opened it up. Uh, at the start of it, we've just duplicated the logo that I created originally, and we're gonna clean it up a bit. It was too messy, it had too many petals. It's just not something that's gonna look good on a jersey when it's there, so we're gonna do that. And I created them using the pen tool, so that's what you see these little arms that are hanging around there for, and I'm just adjusting the curves to the way that I would like so that they look like proper leaves from this petal. I was looking at a reference image of the actual plant itself just to try get an idea what the shape would look like in vector form. So just a lot of adjusting, a lot of until I'm happy and that's exactly what I was doing. And you see there, like I previously mentioned before, that we have it in the shape of the rugby ball already, we have the cross there and we have the stars from the Samoan flag itself. 
So I'm just continuing to adjusting these curves and it leaves until I am satisfied with it. And this will be another iteration of this logo coming out. I was trying to make the blue oval fill the space in there without being too large and creating too much of a nonsense. As you can see, I'm trying a different iteration where I'm doing the exact opposite of what I'm saying to you and I'm having to fill a massive amount of space. But we are having difficulty obviously placing the cross. The cross show always just looks like an afterthought and I needed to figure out a way to build it in. This was actually the greatest difficulty of doing this logo once I got to this point, after different iterations that I had of circles, crests and general normal things. Fitting in that cross was actually the hardest part because it always just looked like I was just using it, just placing it there when realistically this is probably one of the most important things to them. So it needs to be revered and you can't just use it as an afterthought. That is it's what matters to them. Keeping the client in mind, that's what, a, that's what a good designer does. So I always had the idea of putting the cross on the top because this uh, in some ways shows respect for the religion because the cross being on the top, if you bury it underneath or put it on the bottom, it just, it just doesn't feel right. Again, you will see me to continue just making slight adjustments with every copy I'm about to make and just try different positions and placing of either the stars, the amount of leaves that I have, size of stuff, just move it around. And here is where I insert the swoosh that exists in there. I always send it to my friend to kind of keep an update on it because he also is in a similar space and he understands what people go through doing this stuff. A second opinion, a second set of eyes is always good in any case, despite my reaction to using this. Unfortunately, my relationship with Illustrator is well known to not be good. And you always got to take your friend's advice into account, despite how much you think it's not going to look right. As you can see by now, I'm taking what he said to me into account. You can let me know down below if you think that looks off balance or just not correct compared to what the other ones did. The national anim animal of Samoa is a two-billed pigeon. Isn't that insane? And look how pretty the place is. And it's a two bill pigeon. Hopefully that made some sense to you while going through that and you'll be able to get something from me actually working through and seeing kind of my process of how I do it. I've, I've showed you that I do sketches and I've just showed you my illustrator process. So this is the somewhat finished product that I came out with. There will be touch ups coming through and I'm gonna do a video next week on the deliverables of this project that I'm gonna do. I'm kind of selling myself out here that anyone could watch this, but I'm really relying on this not getting a lot of views so that I can get away with this and submit and hopefully still win the competition. So the changes that will probably be made as I have it on the screen here, there's probably gonna be some font tweaks. I'm gonna tweak the, the plant around the edge and just smooth it all out. Just get, the, get rid of all the snaggly bits at the end and it will come out with a good logo. But let me just walk you through what's in the design and why it's there. So obviously what we got at the top here is one of the main things that they told us to do is get the cross or the Christianity is, uh, is one of the big deals here and I got it there. So that is in there. And I actually just took that from its original emblem as you can see here, because we don't want to completely throw everything out that worked. I thought the last album was quite a good emblem, but I think it's the country's emblem emblem anyway. So they want to have their own unique thing for the rugby, which is why they're doing this. Next thing you see obviously is this big red leafy plant. Their national plant, as I mentioned before, is red ginger. So this is to represent the red ginger and obviously it's the colors and the color palette that I took is actually from the original logo itself so they don't have to change the colors that they use. These are sort of things that you need to keep in mind when designing a logo for someone with a pre-existing logo because you don't want to just throw everything out if it's working already and in my mind the original Rugby Samoa logo was was really good and it was a nice classic crest but we went to we wanted to modernize it in this like i just said then the shape is of the rugby ball so i'm getting that part in as well and then if when you see this pattern of stars here these aren't just randomly placed stars in case anyone doesn't know that is actually the pattern of the stars on their country's flag and again i took that from the original crest and this swoop here is to accentuate the fact that it's a rugby ball it's kind of give a bit more 3d effect to break it up a bit because the big block of blue was actually just causing a bit too much of a distraction we might throw some edits into there over the next week or so. That is what it's there for. It's to break it up a bit. Otherwise, it was just a solid block of blue and it was very harsh and was taking a lot of attention away. This way, it just makes it a lot easier. And then, of course, the font down here. I'm not completely happy with it, but it was kind of like an Islander sort of font. It 
it just reminded me of like a sandy beach and stuff like that so that is why i chose that font but that will 100 percent change compared to and due to many things including licensing this is an adobe font and i cannot give this to ruby samoa with this font so we're going to find a font that we can actually use i could always pay for it so that's the walkthrough of the reason why i did the logo um, I'm showing that we're still connecting to the original logo and uh, we're not completely throwing everything away, which is what I wanted to stay away from. Now, it looks very different, but I'm hoping that it's modernized that and it's something that they will go for. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will keep posted on this and there will be future posts on my Instagram about this and I will get the design pack ready, which that video will hopefully come out next week. That will take a bit of work as I have to tweak this logo and then I have to obviously create that whole pack because they're looking for. So that is the creation of the logo for Ruby Samoa. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe, give us some interaction here and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, good luck.